In this clip, defense contractor Lucky Palmer showcases the most insane piece of military tech you'd ever seen. Check it out. So speaking of making things. Oh, yeah. Bust out the helmet, son. All right. So let me, I'm going to take this off. Okay. I'm, so I've been working on head-mounted displays for a long time. I created the Oculus Rift when I was 19 years old, living in a camper trailer in my garage. And that was really the virtual reality headset that changed the industry, sold that company for billions of dollars. And now that I'm working in the national security space, I've continued to believe that virtual reality, augmented reality is going to be a critical part of our military. Just a quick backstory on Lucky Palmer. He was the founder and creator of the Oculus Rift virtual reality headset. And at the time, it was considered groundbreaking. He later sold the company to Meta for $2 billion. The MetaQuest line of headsets you see in stores today is a direct iteration of Lucky's original Oculus Rift. Lucky is now the founder of a military contractor company called Andrel Industries. Pretty cool, right? So the ability to have night vision, thermal vision, but also the ability to see where all the bad guys are, see where all the good guys are by fusing everyone's view together. Think of it almost like a hive mind. If I'm able to see something, you should be able to see it. If a drone can see it, you should be able to see it. Even if it's on the other side of a building, you should be able to see it and effectively have X-ray vision. And I should be able to command and control all these other systems using this heads-up display interface. This is a new product that we just announced at the Army's conference yesterday. We've been working on it for years, using our own money. No taxpayer dollars were used to create it. I love how Lucky had to throw in the politically correct statement. I think it speaks to how he manages his company and his personal beliefs. Um, it's called Eagle Eye. And it is an integrated ballistics shell. So you've got a helmet, um, you've got hearing protection, you've got thermal sensors, night sensors, uh, uh, signals intelligence sensors that allow you to detect where cell phones are, where radios are, see that in your view. It even detects where gunshots are, shows them exactly where they're placed and how far they are. Holy shit. Warfare is legit turning into a video game. It has a damn mini-map. Here is what the game Call of Duty looks like. I wonder if he drew inspiration from it. So this is the... This is a recreation of it. So this so is this, like... Yeah, these, this is a, so this is a video feed of what it is like to use the system. So I've got the helmet on here. What I have is this pair of augmented reality glasses, and I put them on. These sync with the helmet and with these sensors. So I can, for example, see where my gun is pointing. I can see where every enemy is. I can see where all of my buddies are. I can see... So like, there's a, there's a view that's coming up here where you're going to notice a drone picks up a guy behind that container over there. And what's going to happen is when he walks behind that container, I'm able to continue to see where he is and what he's doing. So here's Ghost X is the drone that's watching. So just watch for a moment. So the blue force is my friendlies. So see that little right-hand corner where it sees behind the containers? Uh-huh. They're tracking where the bad guy is. They're tracking where my guys are. And then watch when they go behind the container. So I can actually Whoa. see through it and watch. Isn't that nuts? Talk about an advantage. Just imagine if both sides had this headset. It would be a stalemate. Nobody would move. For those gamers out there, you basically have wall hacks. Now they're engaging the guy over there, and he's down. You, you know Robert Heinlein, the science fiction author who did Starship Troopers? Okay. Damn, he really just mentioned my childhood. Starship Troopers was one of the most iconic movies. Let me know in the comments below if you grew up watching this movie too. He was literally writing about these ideas of mobile infantry that's wearing mech suits and ballistics prediction, like helmets that show you the bad guys, give you radar feeds, give you night vision, give you thermal vision, the ability to, uh, to do ballistics targeting where it calculates where the wind is going to blow you around and, and where, where it's going to go. He was literally writing about this in the 1940s. I mean, we're talking about almost 100 years ago, wow. and we happen to be born in the right time. So, you know, uh, too late to explore the, the seas, too early to explore the stars, but just in time to build Eagle Eye. You're in the right timeline. That was an awesome statement. I feel like Lucky practices that in the mirror every morning. So I'm a huge weapons enthusiast. I own about 450 guns, huge number of, you know, I, I own basically everything that anyone's ever fought in. So ballistic vests uniforms, boots, gloves, helmets. I've just, I, I collect that stuff. And so one of the cool parts about Eagle Eye is I got to bring all my opinions on what things should be and I can just jam them, jam them into the product. Whether you like him or not, you gotta love his passion for this stuff. I feel like it's the only way to become as successful as he has. 
the cool thing about this is uh, like you've if you've ever used earring protection, mm-hmm. normally you know it pops up like this, right. and you know it's kind of dangling in the way. Notice how it's really tightly integrated, like it's not flopping around. Right. But I can pop it open, and now I can hear you directly with my own two ears. I can pop that and clip it back in, and I'm able to hear with electronic pass through, and it actually uh, enhances my hearing, so I can hear certain things better. And you'll notice. This is ballistic ear protection. Mm-hmm. So, have you ever seen like a high cut helmet where you know you can have low cut helmets where they protect your ears more, high cut helmets where there's no ballistic protection over your hearing protection? For visual context, here is the difference between a high cut helmet and a low cut helmet. This is ballistic hearing protection. So, when I put this on, everything is protected with armor, even over the soft tissue in my ears and around my upper neck. Everything on here. I can repair in the field with a field repair kit. And as does well. it have the same functionality as like Walker game ears where you can where amplify you hear... outside noises, but then when a loud boom comes off, your ear is protected? Exactly. But right. it's even better. We're using an array of. So those ones, you know, they have two microphones. Like the Walkers, they typically have one here, one here. This is the Walker game ears that Joe is referring to. They must be loving all the shout outs Joe has given them through the years. What we're doing is a phased array of microphones so that I can actually steer the amplification beam. Like I, I, I could say, hey, like I could, I could I send hear in a mo- footsteps over in this left direction. Let's point in that. Or, well, even crazier. Imagine that I'm looking at a target with this and I look at that target. It can cancel out all of the other sound that it knows is coming out of phase with that direction and distance. And it can give me just the sound there coming from that as best it can. So it can give me not just enhanced hearing, but directional enhanced hearing. I could say, I want to listen to what that guy 100 yards over there is saying. Try taking these on and you'll feel they're a bit heavier than normal glasses. But the other thing about them is that they're also ballistic rated glasses. So you mm. see in the front and then that also on the like sides. It. Yeah, so like these can take pieces of frag. So if someone's attacking you with a drone mm-hmm. and it blows up, this is going to keep those from going into your orbitals. This guy really thought of everything. It's nice to know we have guys like this working on defense products for our soldiers. That's just a normal ballistic mission shield. We have another mission shield that protects you from laser energy weapons. Whoa. So it's actually tuned where now it makes your vision turn. I, I, I probably shouldn't talk about exactly what color because it allows people to figure out what frequencies we're blocking. But there are mission shields that you can put on that will protect you from weapons that we know China has. China has a bunch of directed energy laser weapons, some of them for taking out drones, others designed to blind human troops. Whoa. And so we're designing mission shields that protect you from those types of emissions. They're designed and- to blind human troops? Yep. China does, in fact, have these types of weapons. ZM-87 Portable Laser Disturber was first revealed in 1995. This laser weapon was primarily intended to blind humans, with a range that could cause permanent blindness at 2 to 3 kilometers and temporary blindness at up to 10 kilometers. Though production reportedly ceased in 2000 following an international ban, U.S. intelligence has alleged its continued use. So are they employed I, from drones? Look, I don't want to be I don't want to be too I don't want to be too aggressive here because I'll tell you the United States has weapons that are designed to temporarily blind people as well. Imagine we deployed a bunch of these glasses and they had the laser filters built in from the start. Now imagine that China shifts their laser frequencies 10 nanometers so that it bypasses that filter. Imagine if I had to just replace all my AR glasses. That's not acceptable, right? Right. I, so everything on this system is totally modular. So what would happen is if they shifted their laser weapons, we would just give people a new mission shield. Now they're all set. Here, you, if you want to take this, you can sure. put it on. This is an actual weighted helmet. But yeah, the, the, you know, I mean, if you're familiar with walkers, very, very similar to what we do on the hearing enhancement side. It's just a world even beyond that. Is it too tight or you got mm. it? And then this snaps. Oh, yeah. And and the cool thing about this is you don't have these like mounts now that are snagging you. This is a good look for Joe. He definitely needs to go to the nearest recruitment office ASAP. You've used night vision? I have. You know, you have this big giant unicorn horn, this thing pounding on your fast. Also, it's very unbalanced. Uh Weight that's out here is torquing your neck continuously. And it's 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 annoying when you're standing in place. But if you, let's say, hit a pothole in a Humvee with a big weight on the end of a lever, you destroy your neck. Just curious, for anyone watching that has served and or used night vision, is this accurate? It sounds like he might be exaggerating a bit, but I have no idea. Let me know in the comments below. You've probably seen a lot of people put like big battery packs for their night vision Mm -hmm. back here. The main battery is this. So you ever used ballistic plates before? Yes. So this is a standard geometry, sappy geometry plate. The cool thing about this is it's a combination battery, computer, and ballistic plate. 
So what's in here is a battery technology that is an electrolyte-free, solid-state ceramic battery. What I realized is that you, instead of having the weight of a ballistic plate and then the weight of a battery on top, you should combine those two functions. Yep, my mind is definitely blown. The state of technology is truly fascinating. Thank you so much for watching. Would love to hear from you in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. See you in the next one.